Moving on to banana hacks, or as we all wanted it to be called, banana. I'm so excited to say that in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the new For Art's Sake bundle that Holo Taco just released. I'm even more thrilled to say that they sent it to me as PR. This feels unreal that my favorite brand of nail polish sent polishes to me to sponsor an Instagram post. They also called me an influencer on the receipt, which is totally crazy. So enough about me fangirling and just freaking out in general, let's get into the video. So I created this pop art slash Andy Warhol inspired nail art look with the four crowns and the four art sake bundle. And can we just talk about that name? I love the play on words. Before I show you the tutorial, I wanted to do some swatches and give you my opinion on the new formula and brush. You can skip to here if you only want to see the nail art. Okay, so Holo Taco was so kind and they sent not only the four art sake bundle, but four other polishes as well. They're paying me to do a sponsored post on Instagram, but this video is not sponsored at all. So in order, I got Banana Hack, Green Screen, Dark Type Grey, Royalty Blue, One Cold Black, Not Milky White, Matte Taco, and Glossy Taco. I used everything except the black and white. The new formula for all of these polishes is so creamy and smooth. I think the old formula was a little too thick and that made it hard to work with, so they definitely improve on that part. This does mean that it's less opaque, so I had to apply two coats for all of these polishes to get full opacity. The brush is wider and rounded now, and I love them so much more than the old ones. I'll tell you more about it in the swatches. So let's begin with the new Royalty Blue Reformulated. It's a very vibrant and saturated color. It's the perfect royal blue that doesn't get almost black when you apply multiple coats. Here it is applied on my printer finger, which curves like crazy, but natural nails are never perfect anyways. Here is the first coat. It's a really nice formula that's self-leveling, but it does dry pretty fast, so you must work kind of quickly. I needed two coats to get full opacity, as mentioned before. Next up is green screen, and the name really says it all. It's the same color as green screens. It's a basic green that everyone needs in their collection. So not too yellow and not too blue. Here's the first coat and you can see how easy it is to get close to the cuticles with the new rounded brush. And it basically takes me three strokes to cover the whole nail. You can still see my natural nails a little bit through the polish, so I went ahead with a second coat. Moving on to banana hacks, or as we all wanted it to be called, banana. Again, the name describes the polish really well. It's a light yellow polish that is the same color as a banana, or even a lemon. It's gonna be perfect for an Easter money. Here is the first coat applied on my pinky. The brush is just as wide as my pinky, so if you have really narrow nails, you might prefer the old brush, but for me, it's really perfect. Now here's the second coat to reach full opacity. Last up is duct tape grey. I expected a darker grey because of the name, but it's kind of light actually. This seems perfect for shading on white since it's not too dark. Here is the first coat applied on my thumb, which has a lot of bumps and imperfections, but this polish did a very good job at filling in the dents. It was quite smooth after the second coat. So now that all the base color are done, I'm gonna apply a glossy taco on all of my nails. I made the mistake of shaking my bottle before using it, and that created a lot of bubbles. So learn from my mistakes and roll your bottles in your hand instead of shaking them. The bubbles and this nail art are definitely user error and not the Holo Taco products. And can we just take a second to look at how gorgeous these crowns are on their own? Glossy Taco makes them look so professional and smooth. 
Now it's time for the nail art. I started off by painting a base circle with acrylic paint. I bothered to not cover the middle, but you could also do a plain circle and then add a green dot in the middle. That would be easier if you struggle with freehand. I did two coats to get it opaque. Then I took my pink polish for the glaze and I made a squiggly circle. I covered as much of the donut as possible, but I made sure to leave an outline of beige on the inside and outside. Nail art tip! Instead of buying painting palettes, I used the insert of tissue boxes. They're plastic and really easy to clean. I dropped some banana hacks on there and I went ahead with the same detail brush to do the sprinkles. I tried to make them go in different directions and to not put two sprinkles oriented the same way next to each other. Then I took the smallest detail brush ever to do the black outlines. I used acrylic paint because it's such a tedious task. I worked in small strokes and cleaned up my brush often to avoid build up on the brush. I worked my way from the center to the edges of the donut. I tried not to apply too much pressure to keep the lines thin. If I messed up, I just went in with the beige to correct it. I applied a matte taco and that's it! By the way, I was so impressed at how the matte taco didn't smudge my nail at all. I also love how matte and velvety it is. Now just for the sake of showing you a nail where the glaze is hollow taco, I'll show you my middle nail real quick. I started off with three painful coats of this pink polish and it really makes me wish I had gotten what do you pink. Then I used a small detail brush to apply banana hacks all over the donut. It was surprisingly really easy to work with, and you know how I love my acrylic paints, but these hollow taco polishes are so easy to work with, they kind of make me want to use polish more. Well, hollow taco crumbs. Now onto the sprinkles. I went in with royalty blue and did the same thing as for the last nail. It was opaque in one coat and that's really great for nail art since you don't want to go over one line multiple times. Okay, I topped everything off with matte taco and we're done! I really love how these turned out, I think they're so cute. I love all of the fun colors and I'm so glad I got to collaborate with Holo Taco to create this nail art look. I took a lot of pictures with this fun donut and I love how they look. Fun fact, I actually have celiac disease, which means I can't eat gluten, which is found in wheat, for example. So, I do have gluten-free donuts, but they're not really Instagram-worthy. They're brown and small, and frankly, just boring to look at. But they taste great! Anyway, I went to my Tim Hortons and got this fun rainbow-sprinkled one. Like, how cute is it? I'm holding a donut with donuts on my nails. Also, as I said in the beginning, this was inspired by Andy Warhol, so I made this cool montage. I really love graphic design and I've actually followed a Photoshop class, and one of the lessons was on pop art, so I got to put my skills to good use. Okay, well that's about it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, you can leave me a like and comment down below if you like these kinds of swatch, review and nail art videos. You can also click the bell to turn on notification and be sure to never miss a future video. Thank you for sticking until the end of the tutorial, it really means a lot to me. Here's a pic of me being way too excited to get PR from Holo Taco for you. I still can't believe it. Okay, now I'm really gonna leave. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!